Yo, what's going on guys? Kultimush back at it with another video. In this video, I want to talk about upgrading your old pre-built computer. Say that you bought a computer from Staples or Walmart or something like that, and you got a desktop pre-built from like Dell, HP, one of those companies, and you've been using that to check your emails, watch YouTube videos, maybe play a little bit of League of Legends or Counter-Strike Global Offensive. But at the end of the day, a PC like that is not going to give you really great gaming performance. And when I'm talking about a PC like that, I'm not talking about a PC that you spent $1,000 on. Most families these days have a desktop that they bought from a Walmart or a Staples, and they got it for like $400 to $500. And at some point when that happens, when you do want more gaming performance, the first thing you think of is, hey, I'm gonna build a new gaming PC. My birthday is coming up or Christmas is coming up. The kind of bad timing since Christmas just came by. But you get what I'm saying. You want to build a new gaming PC, but maybe that's not the best idea. This is actually the scenario I fell under. I remember back in, I think it was freshman or sophomore year of high school, I had an HP computer that I would use to do my schoolwork, watch YouTube videos, check my email, stuff like that. And I got really into games like League of Legends and Red Orchestra, and I was like, man, I need to get more gaming performance. And my first idea is, hey, let me go on Newegg and look up all these pre-built computers. Because at that time, I didn't really want to build my own PC, but you get the idea. I wanted a new computer entirely. I was done with this HP dog shit or what I perceived as dog shit, when in reality, it wasn't dog shit. That PC that I had in sophomore year of high school had an Intel Core i3 in it, it had 8 gigabytes of RAM, and all that it was really missing was a video card, but I didn't really understand that because I didn't know the nuances of PC gaming and what really made a PC game run. Eventually, after you do some research, you realize, hey, I can take this old PC and I can turn it into a pseudo gaming rig. Obviously, a CPU like the Intel Core i3 is going to be a bit limiting in the higher end games, but at that time, I wasn't all about the 1080p 60fps. I was like, man, I just want to play some League of Legends and Red Orchestra 2 and maybe dabble in some Skyrim. And for a lot of people that are just getting into PC gaming, especially those of you in like high school or college, that's probably all you want to do. You probably just want more performance in games like League of Legends and Counter-Strike Global Offensive and World of Warcraft because those are the most popular games on PC and those are the games that most people play. And maybe outside of that, you just want to dabble into a higher end game here and there. You want to play a game like Fallout 4, but you don't really care about maxing the game out at 1080p and getting 60 FPS. You just want the game on PC, you want to get some mods and that's it. Well, at that point, what you can do is check the specs on your HP or your Dell computer. Chances are you do have a dual-core Intel CPU, something like a Core i3. Hell, a lot of the desktops you buy these days come with Core i5s, and those are very good. And then you obviously want to see how much RAM you have. And outside of that, you really need to know the size of your case, because if you do buy a higher-end video card, it might not fit in your case, but a lot of the lower-end ones will fit just fine. I was actually able to fit a GTX 660 Ti into my HP computer, and the 660 Ti was a mid to high level video card at the time and I was able to fit that in just fine in my HP computer. Also you will probably need a new power supply. When you get a desktop PC from HP or Dell they're not thinking that you're gonna put a graphics card in it so you will have to buy a power supply that will be able to power your video card. However in some instances if you do buy a lower end video card you might just be able to get away with the power supply you have currently but in most cases, you will also have to upgrade the power supply. So you go online, you don't need the highest end power supply in the world because at the end of the day, your old PC turning into a gaming PC isn't expected to give you all the performance in the world. This is just a pseudo gaming rig that can get you by. You go online, you buy like a 500 watt power supply for $50, and then you buy something like a GTX 750 Ti, that's pretty popular right now for $100, and then boom, for $150, you took your old HP, Dell, whatever PC, and you turn that into a somewhat decent gaming PC. That's actually how I started out PC gaming. I didn't have a ton of money where I could just drop $1,000 into the best PC in the world. I took the old family desktop and then I turned it into a pseudo gaming rig that could play games like League of Legends at good frames. I could even play games like Skyrim, which at the time was a newer release. So that's just a really great way for people who don't have a lot of money to start playing some PC games. And for a lot of you guys, I do know that you just want to play a game like League of Legends with better frames or a game like Dota 2 or Counter-Strike Global Offensive where I could go on and on and on. And if you do add in a video card like the GTX 750 Ti, you will be able to play a game like Fallout 4 at medium to high settings and get about 35 to 40 frames per second. There's benchmarks online. And for a lot of you guys, you're used to the console experience and you just want that same experience on PC. 
The 750 Ti is not only going to give you that experience on console, but it's going to make it better because yes, it will provide a bit more performance and a bit more graphical fidelity. So I hope you guys found this video informal. This is a topic I've kind of covered in previous videos, but I've never made a full-blown video on it, and I think a lot of you guys would enjoy it because a lot of you guys are getting into PC gaming. Sometimes the best option isn't just to build a whole new PC. Chances are you guys do have a desktop in your house, and chances are it isn't a giant piece of shit, and you can turn it into something viable. So if you guys like this video, hit the like button. If you disliked, obviously hit the dislike button. But regardless, thank you for watching. Have a great day, and I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.